Hello everyone, welcome to Ruth Straight Talk, the channel that's designed to help you, your students and your children live fuller lives, become lifelong learners and grow into the awesome human beings you were designed to be. I'm Cynthia Ruth. In this video, I will be sharing with you an awesome intervention strategy for students that are having difficulty reading regardless of your age. I will also give you practical tips to foster active reading in your home. And please stay around for the end of this video. I will give you a bonus strategy to help you and anyone else that is struggling to read. If this video is for you, let's get right to it. Close reading is an intervention strategy that is used to teach struggling readers, particularly older children. This intervention strategy teaches students how to examine the text and how to interpret the meaning of specific quotations, genres, structures, or conventions used by the author. There are six steps to performing a close reading. Step one. Read the text thoroughly. Don't be afraid to mark all over the text. Take notes as you go along. You can highlight certain things on the page, ask questions, underline connections, and always looking for patterns or repetition in the text that you're reading. While you're reading the text, don't be afraid to mark it up with questions, pointing out main ideas and sentences or anything that would jump out at you in the article that will help you get a better feel for what the article is talking about. Particularly, you want to look for pattern. Step two is to identify the theme. What is the theme? The theme is a broader picture about what the article is all about. It's uh, more than a summary of the events. It's the moral of the story, so to speak. If you have trouble identifying the theme, ask as many questions as you can about the text until a pattern develops. In this step, you will identify the theme. And the theme would be like the moral of the story or the most important thing that's being done by or spoken of in the article. If we use this video as a, a text, we could say that the theme of this video is how to use close read strategy to improve reading comprehension. That would be the theme of this article. Step three, identify the protagonist that is the speaker or the narrator or the main character of the article. This is a character who changes as he deals with the conflict or the problem of the story. There can be more than one protagonist or non-protagonist characters who will also change. That is why it's important for you to identify the main characters. If we continue to use this video as the text, the protagonists would be myself as the narrator and you as the viewer and how this video will affect the viewer. Hopefully you will increase your reading or your students reading comprehensions. Step four is to connect the theme with the protagonist or the main character. Whatever the lesson that the protagonist learns should tie into the theme of the story. If you're an analyzing a poem, ask yourself what is the lesson or the concept that the reader should draw from the speaking or observation of the poem. In this step, as we connect the theme with the protagonist, the theme, of course, is how to improve close reading strategies. And I, as the protagonist, is sharing that information with you. A second protagonist is you, the viewer. And you are receiving that information and changing or improving the way that you read 
or work with reading comprehension. Step five is to create a thesis statement. So what is a thesis statement? A thesis statement is the summary of the entire article in one sentence. Usually that sentence would also be the theme of the story. In this step, as we develop a thesis statement or a summary of the article, this would most likely be the same theme that you developed in the step number two. Using again this video as your text, the theme would be, by the end of this article, the reader or the viewer will be able to improve their reading comprehension by using the close read strategy. Step six is to support your thesis with examples, quotations, comparisons, whatever evidence that led you to choose that statement as your thesis. This could be scenes, it could be characters, it could be settings, it can even be figurative language or any other form of literary impact. In this final step, you will support your thesis statement. That is, you will use examples from the video or from this text to explain how your thesis statement will improve reading comprehension using the close read strategy. So you could give examples or you could use quotations from the article. There are many different ways that you could support your thesis statement. For success in school, children need to learn to listen carefully. In my bonus strategy, I will show you so small activities to help your children listen carefully and also follow and give clear directions. You will need small objects such as a ball or a photo fo photograph, objects that can make noise like a set of keys, water glasses, spoons, and a deck of cards. So here's what you will do. Hide a small object and give your child directions to find it, such as take five steps straight ahead, turn right, keep the lamp to your left, bend down and look to your right. Next, have your child hide the object and give you directions to find it. An extension of this would be to have your child close his eyes Use something to make a sound, such as the rattling of your keys, tapping a spoon against a glass, or riffing through the deck of cards. Then ask your child to guess what's making that sound. Or you could clap your hands to tap out a rhythm, and then have your child listen, and then clap that same rhythm back to you, making the rhythm harder as he catches on. This will help your child to improve in listening skills and also giving in and receiving directions. If this video has value for you, please like us at the bottom of the screen. And if you are new to my channel, please subscribe to get notifications when I post new videos. I would always also love to hear from you if you have any comments, any feedbacks, any reading strategies that would be helpful to the entire audience. Anything that you would like to share with me, I would love to hear from you. Please leave a comment in the bottom below. Until the next time, happy learning. Goodbye.